everybody, Eric Weinstein from Live Loot's Party Entertainment, and I got a cool design for you today. The other day I was driving in my car, and I looked down, because I just got doing, doing a couple parties, and I saw one little lonely flower sitting there on the floor with nobody to love it. No home. I felt bad for a second, but I was like, wait, this is not the end of this life. I mean, the way the configuration was with the flower a little messed up, I was like, hold on, let me adjust here. What if you put these side by side, curl this here, move this up? Could this flower be something else? Heck yeah! Look at that. Cute, little, adorable rabbits. Three balloons by taking a simple flower, adjusting the proportions on their faces, using the same flower brace, put on her nose, a 160 ears, and boom, you got a three balloon base bracelet and nobody's complaining at the party. Imagine the kids walking around with these cool killer rabbits, well not killer rabbits, cool rabbits on their wrists. So without further ado, let me teach you this awesome design. So to make the rabbit, we need a light blue 260, a light blue 160, and one 260 neon pink. And this is gonna be the nose, so any color. This is the, uh, the head of the rabbit with the ears. Any color. I just think this one look pretty cool. So, inflate. You don't need much, you're making a flower. I would say about an eight uh, finger tail. So first, we're gonna make, so he's got two little petals to the front, then three petals in the back. See, all lined up in the back. And then one petal that I split going up the front. So all together, one, two, three, four, five, six petal flower with one split going up. So I start off, I do one little one. I start with the nose area, so a little loop. And another little loop. Try to get them even as you can. Okay, there you go. So I got two little loops. And now I'm gonna make Three loops, all the same size. All right, so I do one loop, two loop, and a third loop. So now, the two little loops go forward. Two of the loops go side by side. So let me just adjust this, so it goes side by side. And then one loop is in the back. But I'm going to rotate this, okay? I'm going to do it ah, twice to lock it in nice and good because this is how it pushes the two cheeks out. And there's a pinch right there. So all we're going to do next, take the light blue 160. Hopefully you have a pump. Ooh, I have a Legenda, and it's awesome, but it's in my room, and I'm charging it for tomorrow's parties so I can handle a three-balloon rabbit. So... Go out about, I don't know, 10 fingers, just like however big you want to make his ears. It's up to you. I say everybody should always put their own twist on the balloon. That's why I don't always get caught up on proportions. I mean, proportions are important. But, you know, trying things different ways always leads to new ideas and new creativity and thing, ways to think of things. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to slide these ears, put it between, and I want this part with the nozzle, you don't want that showing, so you want this part facing down so it's gonna go into the rabbit like that. I mean, not in, but if you want it that direction. So I would say go up maybe three fingers, maybe two fingers, twist off a bubble, slide the ears in, okay? Pull it. Actually, make a bubble, I would say half the size of this first one that you did. Make it half the size, and then make sure the ears are nice and lined up in there. See, because I'm just going to bring this back piece down, and I'll make sure these are up a little bit. See, I'm going to push them up. Oh, oh, too much, too much. I mean, you can. It's a rabbit. But I think I put them up too much. And then I'm going to lock it into that back loop. And discard. Okay, so I want to adjust everything. All right, I'm going to have the two small loops you made in the beginning, two loops going out, 
loop, grab the back of the head. This prop right between the ears, okay? So, I think it looks cute. And if one bubble looks bigger than the other, you know, you can smush it and squeeze it. Yeah, a little uneven. I think it's better did a better job of my demo balloons, but a little uneven, but whatever. Guess what? This is, this is line work, so we're being quick with it. So, next, put a little puff of air into the two, 260. Okay, let a little air out. Tie it off. So definitely tie it off, because I've noticed if you don't tie it off, it may start to leak. So I'm just gonna take it, I'm gonna take the nozzle, pull it around one of the loops. Now you can either go forward with it, or side by side. If you go side by side, I would, let me set it up. I would have it, we get the camera right. Okay, you're doing it side by side, you tie it on one side and you bring it across and pull it down and see how it gives it a stretch look. But if you want, you can also just, you know, tie it in in the back and bring it forward, grab the end, bring it forward and it gives it more of a longer look, okay? So either way, you can switch it up once it's in there. But tie, pull this nozzle, I mean this end of the 260 around the loop because now this is going to be the bracelet because you have that long piece. So I just measure off a little tiny loop. Once again, I'm just, the iPad is selfie me, so I always forget looking to the camera here and not the, you know, the, the rain shadow or the shadow going on next to me. So, once you have it all together, get rid of the excess. And there you go, quick little rabbit. Goes right on the wrist for the artwork which I'm not that good at. So if you like artwork, my boy John Justice has a Sharpie art video, Splendid Balloons, look them up. Okay, we're gonna put three dots on each side, one, two, three. On the other side, one, two, three. I feel like I'm at a dance studio. And now we're gonna make two big ovals. All right, so one big oval and another big oval. Okay, and I know my circles, like I say in every video, I am not a drawler, so, you know, the face painters out there are probably laughing right now. I apologize. So I can put two little lines going up, kind of like a maybe a surprise look. Okay, another two on the other side. And now I'm gonna make circles, like go around, see, circles, around, around, there you go. And do on the other side. You see, I left some space in the middle because that's where I'm going to put my white. That's where I'm going to put my white marker. And if you don't have a white marker, definitely go and get one. Because in addition to the pinch twist eyes that I taught you on the turtle, using the white marker is a sin. All right. So speaking of white marker, where did I put that thing? Ah, uh, here you go. All right. So. Make a little right here. All right, and ah, this is a new one. Man, where's the one I was just using? Hold on a second here. All right. I should edit this part out, but then I, I would, you, you learn from your mistakes. So I wouldn't make this mistake again if I had to always watch it every time I put on this rabbit video. But this is, I don't know, it's, yeah, look, it's white, but it's a little, I don't know if I just opened this up. I don't know, what is going on with this? Looks a little off, okay. But it's getting the job done, so we're good. Okay, so there you go, white, uh, you know, white paint on. And once it dries, definitely wait for it to dry. You can go back over and color in the black part of the eyes to see, you know, kind of smudges together. And so, uh, I mean, try to fix it. You don't want to put the black Sharpie on when it's wet because it, it really has moved, ruined the power like 30 markers because I'm very impatient of parties and I'm always trying to just <laughs> So, I can re-go around again once it's dry. And of course it's not totally dry. Come on. All right, there we go, we got it. So, a three balloon bunny rabbit. I'm sure you can draw better than me. Actually, hold up, I got these thick Sharpies. I forgot, I got these specifically to combat the white Sharpie. I mean, the white paint marker is not have the black, big black Sharpie. That's what I forgot to take out. Here we go. Now, let's see. 
Ah, oh, this is like the Trojan Horse. Come on. I won this war. This war's over, man. Got it. That's the look I was trying to achieve. So, thick black Sharpies when using white marker. Definitely, definitely comes out looking better. And uh, there it is. The cute, adorable rabbit. So, I mean, I had a bunch of these, you know, with kids in line. If you're looking for something quick, I'm telling you, these rabbits are a great way to ha have a long line and still do some impressive stuff. So here it is. All right, now it is time for the speed challenge. I got my three balloons ready right here. I got my phone ready to put on the timer and we're gonna see how fast I can do this rabbit. All right, let's do it. I wish I could put on music, but copyright is not allowing me. It's killing me. Uh, let's see, timer. Lock and start. Oh, all right. Two little loops in front. Three loops to make the back. Bigger than the front. Hey, 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 hey. This. The ears are ready. We're at 25 seconds. Oh, that just motivates me. When I see it, like, hitting 30 seconds, I mean, this is when I can I'm about to turn the burners on right here, man. I don't even need the nozzle on. It's going to get hidden in there. So, put it like this. Bring it down. Okay, up. Smaller bubble. Down. Holy cannoli, 44 seconds. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I think we have the line working. I mean, I mean, I'm even talking and, you know, you know, kicking it while I'm uh, building this thing. So talking to the clients, the customers in line, how you doing? Like Baldy says, how you like my eyebrows? Make a twist. Boom! One minute, four seconds. Oh, wait, wait, I gotta actually straighten it. All right, hold on. All right, straighten, 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 straighten. Perfect! One minute, 13 seconds. You could just draw a line here to make, uh, like it's like the rabbit sleeping, but we're not gonna do that. Ready? Artwork. Okay, ovals, eyes, one minute, 34 seconds. I mean, you don't even have to use like the white mark. You just draw with the regular eyes. And kids will be plenty happy with this cute little thing. All right, make eyes. Okay, and now I'm bringing in the Super Sharpie. The big one right here. When you ready to go to battle with the paint marker. Yeah, there you go. Uh-huh. Ooh, fight got park marker. Paint marker got a little fight in it. Alright. There you go. Got it. Do the one. Come on, man. Uh, two minutes, eight seconds. Uh, but I can cruise because it's three minutes, my deadline. So. Alright. Boom. Done. Two minutes. 17 seconds and I was chatting with you so let's take that into account right now but I don't know I think that this is a super cool design I think it's cute it's easy people all know how to make a flower so just a little adjustments here and there and I think you're gonna have some happy people in your line my name is Eric Weinstein my channel is live balloons I will be putting out a video every day for the next 25 days and then I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be coming up with a Faces video of all lots of cool twisted style faces that you may see on my fan page live balloons party entertainment I also got a ton of cool stuff on my website www.liveballoons.com I have faces on I mean how to teach distorted faces I have uh, animals with distorted muzzles and different things with birds with distorted beaks and line work stuff and I have a thing called sweet cheeks where they have little puppy cheeks and they look so cute and they can be done at parties and then I have uh what is it the super Wyatt uh called Jake the Pirate and a couple other cool things Ninja Turtle all of my other sets so all in all I got a lot of cool stuff head on over to www.liveballoons.com and check it out and I'll see you soon I'm ready to make Captain Underpants now what see ya